What's the difference between a dirty bus stop um, and a, a lobster wearing a, a bra? Um, one's a crusty bus station and the other one's a busty crustacean. <coughs> walks into a bar. Ouch, says the horse. Um, a horse walks into a bar um, and he orders a glass of water and he, he drinks it um, and when he's finished drinking he says Wow, I guess you really can lead a horse to water and um, you really can make it drink. <laughs> um, last one. Um, a Shetland pony walks into a bar and he orders a glass of water and um, when he finishes drinking it, he says, Oh, I needed that. I was a little horse. classroom yeah I know that might be hard for some of you to imagine yeah looking at you um, and there are three boys in this classroom now the first boy is called sit but sit's just a nickname okay uh, because he plays this instrument called the sitar no, no no not the guitar the sitar yeah um, and the second boy is called Stanley but his nickname is Stan yeah Stan for short so the third boy, um, his full name is Peter. Some people call him Pete, but most people being, you know, really lazy, they just call him by his initial P. Um, so one day these boys are being particularly rowdy. The teacher, she decides she's had enough. So she decides to separate them as punishment. So she says, sit down, stand up and pee in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, so speaking of boys, um, I realised that like every guy I've dated, you can ascribe like a label to them. So we've got Creepy Liam, Tinder Dave, um, Stinky Pete. Yeah, I know, it just sounds like every British lad's friendship group, doesn't it? Um, oh, actually, come to think of it, maybe they were from the same friendship group. Whoops. Um, but I think the worst one of all was Flu Boy, okay? So I kissed a boy, and I liked it. Um, oh, we're in, we were in a club, by the way. Um, and like, we, we kissed each other, you know, and like he kept trying to like make me go outside. Like, yeah, like he, he took me outside and um, he, I think he was trying to make me go back to his house actually. Um, and, and he had, like had me by the hand and I don't know what would have happened if... Yeah, anyway, so I ended up getting the flu, basically. Um, and I don't know whether it was because, oh, I don't know, I was outside in February at 3am, or maybe he just passed it on to me, you know? You know? I, either way, it was disgusting, right? But of all the things he could have given me, it could have been worse, am I right? <laughs> well, anyway, that actually brings me to the end of my set. I know, very sad. Um, but I guess the conclusion we can draw from all of this is because... None of that was a joke I just made up, that was something that actually happened to me. We can conclude that my life is a circus and I am the clown.
Thank you.